Welcome back everybody. Today I'm looking at Untold Universe Alpha. I'm very happy to have won a key from Sandbox Games on uh, Twitter, which is really awesome. I just got lucky really out of 100 people and got picked with five, uh, five others for an alpha key on this, which is nice and I get to have a sneak peek. So I'm joined today by Ethu and Soon. Uh, we're in a public lobby, so others may be coming and dropping in. And um, yeah, let's check out this tutorial. So Untold Universe is a voxel game, it is a sandbox game, and it features space and planet environments as far as I can tell. So let's get to it. Hello Pioneer, welcome to the Border Training Centre where your new life starts. You can skip the tutorial by pressing free play or start it by pressing start. Instructions will be displayed in the bottom left window, a sound will play when you receive a new one. Oh sound! Oh I can look around. The lighting's interesting. Okay, so I can move around with WSAD out to the exit. Here we go. I like this tutorial style start place. Okay, I can jump over obstacles. Look, I can't get over it. Eh. Okay, jump. Yes! Yes! And I can jump over three cubes. Boom. They're not really cubes though, are they? They're more like cuboids. They're all, they're all sort of half, everything is made of half blocks, I think. Which is cool. Right. Looks like wedges. Yeah, but they're kind of white wedges, but they're not. Look, they're like... It's like a tri... It's like a... It's like a triangle. It's like two wedges in one half block. But that's cool. Right, so uh, jump over the obstacles using space. You can jump over three spaces. Ah, no! Ah. Ow. Full damage. Be careful not to run out, because you only have six health points. Where's my health? Where's my health? I can't see my health anywhere. <sighs> okay, right, we'll just have to sort of smooth over that. Right, go to the other side of the pool using space to go up and control to go down. So let's go to the other side of the pool. Oh, I don't think I can... Oh, have I got to go under underwater? Yeah, I have. Oh. Okay, so we have uh, we have liquid water confirmed, and swimming. It's a lot more like Minecraft at this point, but with cooler blocks. It's got wedges, kinda, like easy wedges. But you don't have to know to put the corner in because it's given you like the whole set. If you know what I mean. So you don't have to smooth it off. It's just given you one piece, which is like a block and a, and a wedge. It's interesting how they've done that. Okay, so what's next? Uh, remove the blocks by holding left click. Okay. Oh, weird. When it takes things away, it, it sort of auto wedges. Okay. Hold down the blocks. I can't get through yet. Sand does not fall. Okay, I'm going to remove all these blocks. Maybe I'll need them. Okay, that's good to know. Right, now what? Remove these blocks as well. Oh, I can't remove them. Oh, it just takes longer. Got it. And we're through. So, okay, cool. Now what? Uh, build a bridge over the hole. Use left click to drop the blocks. Huh? Wait, that's not left click. <laughs> that left click is getting taking stuff away. <coughs> um, wood planks one, dirt cube ten k. It's right click, not left click. Ah, oh, right, okay, so blue means highlighted. So, how do we... Yay, I win. <laughs> so we got past the tutorial, guys. Okay. Now, I think I'm... <laughs> I think I'm in one of the resources rooms. So let's take one of these things and see what you've got. Uh, what did I earn in the bottom right? I, I don't know. It didn't really tell me. Ah, sand. Okay, sand. Uh, iron ore. Okay, so iron ore is that one. Okay, I wonder what this is. What is it? Aluminium ore. Yes. Oh, this looks like it might be gold, guys. Oh, it's bromine salt. I'm on the hunt for bromine. Hey. 
copper ore. And then finally, what's this going to be? Emerald, maybe? Sapphire? Don't know. What was it? It didn't tell me what it was. <laughs> quartz. Oh, okay, so quartz crystals. Okay, push C to open the craft interface. Click on resources. Resources are in raw material used to craft cubes. Click on terraformation. Terraformation cubes are the simplest cubes you can craft to shape your environment. So dirt, sand, stone. Click on building. Building cubes are the most complex cubes. Most are droppable, but some can only be used to build special structures like shipyards and cannot be dropped on the ground. Almost done. Click on spaceship. So let's just have a look at this, shall we? Drill, column rail, shipyard console, drilling rig, spawn point. I like it. Okay, spaceship. Spaceship blocks can only be used in a shipyard. We will cover that later. Click on buildings. Let me just look at some of this stuff here. Spaceship scaffolding. I'm starting to see why maybe the spaceships look funny. If you've got to build them out of a shipyard, maybe that's the restriction of size. Okay, click on buildings. You have enough resources to craft a cube. Select light bulb and click craft one. Then repeat with a drilling rig console. Drilling rig. Done. Did I actually make the, the light bulb? Okay, I did. Anyway, nicely done. Now click on the drilling rig console and bind it to your nut. Well, hang on. Click on the drilling rig. How do you do that? I, E, F, R, G, I, H, A. Nope. How do you do that then? You click on the drilling rig and press 9. Oh, okay. Okay, so you just click on the thing and then push a number and it puts it in your hotbar. And close the interface. Okay, and then now what? Push 9. I have a drilling rig console. What do I do with it? Ah, go to the light room. Select well, a light bulb by pressing zero and then drop it on your path. Bing! Oh, look at that. That's awesome. I made two, so. Ha ha ha. And we're in the next room. You've made it, Pioneer. Drilling rigs can extract resources from the ground for you while you discover new worlds. This is awesome. I love that. Drop the drilling rig console you bind to 9 on the wood block, then aim it, aim at it and press E to open it. Where's the wood block? There's a wood block. Push 9. Click on the thing. We've put it on the floor. Now push E. Um, start mining. Go to the column on your right and press W. Wait, what? Miner could not mine. Hang on. That's not cool. Could not locate miner with console pos. Okay, uh, go to the column on your right and press W to climb the platform. I guess you mean this, right? Huh? No. Uh oh, we're coming unstuck. What column? There's nothing there, guys. Is there no what column? There's no what. Do you know what? I'm just going to cheat. There we go. How can you cheat? I put some dirt on the floor and climb and um and give myself a little boost. Right, bind the s select spawn point. What? Okay, C, spawn point, and nine. Did I bind it? Nine. Don't look like it. Nine spawn point. Yep, I did. Okay, drop it on the wood. Um, and then do a leap of faith. It's going to kill me, isn't it? You evil dev. Ah, I was doing so well. Okay, don't worry. That was to be expected. When you die, you will revive on the last spawn point you dropped. Also, your world shaping device can turn into a weapon by pressing Q. After that, left click to fire a laser. Go to the edge of the hole and shoot at the yellow sand blocks. When cleared, you should be able to reach the other side by jumping. Press Q. Wait, destroy the sand blocks? Destroy the sand blocks. Oh, so when you destroy them... Oh, God! Okay, so when you destroy them, it looks like they'll uh, all fall apart. Oh, wow. 
that's pretty cool. Falling debris, everybody. I wonder where I've seen that. Hup! Yes, I'm through. That's really nice, though. Okay. So, what do we got here? What's this? Press E, click repair, build, shipyard. You don't have enough metal grids. What? I need seven metal grids. Well, that's interesting, because... Oh, I know what happened. It was probably the extra light that I built, wasn't it? <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> I don't think I can create anything, because... Yeah, my shipyard won't repair. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Do you know what? I might have to redo the tutorial. That's not cool. There must be another way to do this. Where do I get metal grids from? Are these metal grids? Right. No. Q. You can't remove this. Destroy the command. Yeah, I can't destroy that building. Damn, 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 and blast. Where am I going to find the materials I need to make my... Huh? You have been given a spaceship. Uh-oh, I think I'm about to break everything. Yeah, I haven't been given a spaceship. Because I haven't got anything. You can't destroy it. You can't destroy it. Oh, well, that's a shame. So basically, guys, if you click on that uh, light button twice, it breaks the tutorial. Um, I So what did I need? Is there any way I can craft them, perhaps? I need metal grids, so I need aluminium ore, which I haven't got any of. Oh, hang on. Oh, I've got six! I've not, yes, some, right, somehow, somehow, I think maybe I was supposed to do that, I don't know, but I'm going to go back and figure it out. Is there a run in this game? Nope. weird. Right. E. Repair. Ship is repaired. New fighter. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so what do we got? Oh, we got a spaceship. Ish. Right. Enter the shipyard, bind and select laser turrets, and equip your ship with one. Laser turret. Craft. Two of them. Put them on my ship. Uh, probably need to bind that, yeah. Nine. Nine. Okay, so how do we do this? Put one there. And one there. Once, back to the console. Hit validate design. What? Validate. It's ready to fly. Aim back at the console and push. Press the con command console. Press E to embark. Doesn't look like. Maybe I've got to do it on this. Let's have a look. Yeah. I'm in my spaceship. Right, so W and S to slow down uh, and accelerate. A and D to left and right. Space is up, control is down, and left click to shoot my laser turrets. Try to reach the sky. Hmm. Okay, let's do this. Oh, we're moving. Oh God, no, it flies like a car. Oh God, it flies like a car. Right, you can't turn. So I'm gonna stop. Look. Okay, that is weird. that was a bit strange. Um, when you go forwards... Oh my god. What's this? It's like... It's like a... It's like a puppet show. Look! Everything's springing up out of the floor. It's like one of those puppet shows with the, with the uh, background that just sort of comes, with what comes up. Alright, let's get some more altitude. Can I do a roll? Can I do a barrel roll? I'll do a I'll do a a loop de loop. All right. Achievement get loop de loop. Right. Well, it is really smooth though. To be fair, like there's no lag like when Minecraft is loading stuff in. You know. And the planet is round. 
even though well, it looks actually, like a pop-up book. Look, 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 there's the sun. Look, there's the sun. Like, I'm going to go over here. Wait, wait, wait. Now we're in night time again. Now I'm going to turn around again. Look, look, we're going to watch the sunset, uh, sunrise. Look, ready? Where is it? Wait, boing. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just going to go back. Hang on. This is funny. <laughs> night time. Turn around. <laughs> wait for it, guys. And sunrise, boing. <laughs> All right, let's head for the sun. Do you reckon it's real? Do you think it's a real sun? Go to the sector, 888. Yeah, 888. Hang on a sec. What's this? Oh, look. We can't go backwards, though. All right, let's uh, fly this way and see what it does when we're coming in. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's like pop-up jungle. Boing. It's really smooth though. Can't lie about that. Right, I'm going to land on this island here. Unmount the spaceship. I hope I can get back up onto it. Oh yeah, you can just press E, and then it just sits, just sits there. I can go swimming, woo, swimming. Oh wow, the undersea is actually way more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Well, let's not lose the spaceship. Let's go to space, because the tutorial wants me to. So. That is one small spaceship. It is a really small spaceship. Apparently, I got guns. Uh, go as high as you can and press left shift when asked. Okay, whatever. Okay. Use left shift to enter in space. Left shift, you're now in space. Press J to quick travel. Huh? Press J. Hang on. Stop the ship. So that's my little space station. Oh, look, it's gone. Look what they've done. Right. Once you enter into space. Oh, look. When you're in the atmosphere, you press left shift and it loads the planet up as voxels. But when you go to space. Hang on. Come on. Right now, I'll stop. If I now look at the planet, look, it's made a map. You know, like a Minecraft map. That is impressive. It's made a Minecraft map of, of the building, you know, that I've left behind. So as long as it updates the picture, it can just bound that to the planet. Although I think it does mean that if I shoot it from here, it's not going to do anything. Because I suppose it might, but I'm not going to see it happening, you know. Anyway, let's push J, head for New Haven and jump. You finished the tutorial. Yeah! <laughs> okay, guys, if you want to get an alpha key for this game, it's at www.untold-universe.com. You can go and apply there, and they may well send you one. Um, I'm going to have another keep... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep poking this game. So give me five minutes for a quick break, and then I'm going to come back and do some exploring in the not-tutorial part. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Welcome back, guys. This is Untold Universe Alpha Episode 2. Basically, I'm going to be poking around and offline. We did the tutorial in Episode 1, so you can go back and check that on the video. Uh, history there. So. <clears throat> what do we got? What do we got? I'm going to say free play. Offline version. Nothing will be saved. Ooh, they've given me a fancy ship. This is this constitutes fancy right now, by the way. Okay. So that is fancy. What's this? Is this like a house or something? I don't know what anything is. Fight! No. Okay. E. Create new fighter. Modify fighter. Now ready to be modified. Okay, so let's see. He's got 
looks like lots of guns. To be honest, I'm just going to have a little fly around in this one, see what happens. Hmm. It's an interesting fight, an con interesting uh, concept. Hmm. For this. So validate means good, right? Now, oh. let's jump in. Oh god. Pressing space makes you go forwards. <laughs> you can't just go straight up. Oh, right. Let's see what these guns can do. Doesn't seem to be any sound yet. Ah, oh, you have to be moving to fire the guns. That's annoying. Let's just turn around. Oh, looks like I found some ores. Uh, might not be able to get back in there. Oh! Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I thought I could, like, pile through it. You need to stop the spaceship before embarking. Okay, stop the spaceship. Up. Oh. That's weird. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, let's get some ores. Hopefully. Iron ores. Mining's a little messy. Seems as if they need some tools for it. Wow. A timer would be good. Something to give an indication of how long, but then it is it is early alpha, so I'm not going to bother with all that stuff. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Like I say, it'd be nice if you could change the texture pack. I'm sure people would love to make different textures for this. Okay, so... We've picked up a load of stuff. They're not accepting any more people for alpha testing. Ah, well, if you actually create an account, there is a button inside your account management where you can click for a button to apply for alpha. There are also lots of competitions, so, you know, if you want to get on it, just uh, look around on Twitter and see if anyone else is still giving them away. Right. Because, like I say, I got lucky with a competition. So, okay, so if I just take, whoa, there's a tree in the way. Control, okay, right, E, stabilization failed, E. Okay, I managed to get out, just. All right, so if I hit C, terraform, can we terraform? No, that's just dirt and stone resources so I've got some iron ore got loads. oh it's given me infinite everything I think ah ha, ha, ha. okay right let's make one of those get some scaffolding some metal grids I'm just gonna make some of everything I'm gonna put it down and see what it all looks like Don't need a shipyard console, get the column, and a drill. Okay, right, let's uh, have a little go with this, shall we? So, one, two, three, no, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is there a zero? Yes, zero. Okay, uh, one, so we've got the dirt cube. And when you put it together in different shapes, it sort of automatically makes, you know, it's automatically changing shape dependent on what's next to it by the looks of it. So if you want to make a nice smooth pile coming all the way around, you've got to fill it in. Oh, and it's automatically gaining grass. 
I'm guessing if it's got enough surface area. So that's that's interesting. So that's dirt. And then we have stone. So let's just oh, not enough stone. Okay. So where's stone at? There we go. Uh -huh. Right, stone. More or less the same. Whoops. I misclicked. And it's nice, it's sort of blending together here. Oh, have I have I run out of stone? I've run out of stone. Could have sworn I hadn't made ten already. Okay, but there we go. Ah, right. Well, like I say, guys, just don't worry because the alphas often loosen up when they're looking for new players, so just keep an eye on it. Have I got any more? Really? Have I used all the stone up? It must be using, like, five for one block or something, I think. Yeah, so that's stone. Now we've got the drilling rig console. So it looks like it's giving me an area. So there we go. We'll put it there. Push E. Build it. Start mining. Ah, so that's what that other thing over there was. It's a mining console. Okay. So it's just started, apparently. So that one doesn't seem to be active. But this one is, so we'll just keep an eye on that. I've got a feeling that it might just... Oh! Let's watch this for a minute. It's doing stuff. So what, Sorry, do I have to then pick all of that up? 4% started. Okay, so I guess when it gets to 100%, maybe it will become apparent. All right, so let's check out the next one, which is Stonewall. I'm just going to make a bit of space. There we go. And one, two, three, four, five. Make a little square. Oh, gosh. Oh wow, okay, so there's a bit of a thing with the whole selection box. Oh, not enough materials, right. So which one was it? Stonewall. Make some more. Whoops. Yeah, it doesn't like it when you, you've got to really make sure that white box is in the right place. But there you go, and the grass is growing quite nicely over here. So oh, what's next? We've got reinforced concrete. Okay, so make a little, made a little, make a little space. It's interesting to see how this dynamic stuff is working, but it's a bit weird because you look, look, and look at this corner here. It doesn't really work. Oh, loot! <laughs> okay, we got the iron ore, guys. Right now, then four stone wall. We've done five reinforced concrete. So click, click, click. I bet we're going to need some more. What's that? bug. It's a bug. Um, we got one left. So yeah, some of these items obviously use more than one resource, I think. So let's see, what were we doing? Are we doing a column rail? No. Reinforced concrete. There it is. So yeah. Put some more of these down, dum, dum, dum. and one there, just so you can see the uh, transition of all the angles. What else have we got? Six stone wall. Did I already have stone wall? Yeah, I've already got stone wall. Okay, so we'll move on. Two wooden planks, which we have ten of. So one. Let's take that out. One, two, three. Ah, oh, hit C. Yeah, basically we needed way more than what I thought to get away with what I'm doing. Lucky I've got infinite everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did I not actually add more wooden planks? No. There. There. Wooden planks. <laughs> what? It won't let me put it there. 
Let me put it there. I think it's because it's too close to the ship. <laughs> Press E. Move forward. Whoa! Whoa! Oh god! Stop moving! Look, it keeps... <laughs> My spaceship! Gah! Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'll get out of here if it's the last thing I do. Okay. E. 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 Yes. Okay, right. Now, where was I? I just trashed the place trying to get out of my ship. Okay. Yeah, I was right. The ship was in the way. So... Put that on here. Boom. There we go. Right. Next one is glass. So we're going to have to put some dirt down here and level this out. There we go. Get some glass. Oh, wow. Glass is expensive. Whoops. Interesting. So glass automatically shapes as well. So automatic shapes based on what's next to them. It's a pretty interesting feature. So if I go here now, may as well take this dirt out. Okay, one, two, three. So these are light bulbs. I wonder if you can turn them on and off. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, and then we've got some reinforced concrete up next. So for the reinforced, we'll put it here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hup. There we go, reinforced concrete. I think I already did that one, didn't I? Yeah, reinforced concrete's over there. Okay, so... Let's see if there's anything they've missed. We've got asphalt, metal slate, spawn point. Do we do scaffold? Don't think so. Metal grid? Probably not. And then column rail. Okay, so let's see. What do we got? Asphalt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, twelve, thirteen. That's asphalt. Two, metal slate. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Damn it. Where am I going to put put my metal slate? Gah. Uh, have I got much dirt? I haven't got any dirt. All right, let's... Ah! Wrong button. I'm just learning the timing. I've got no idea how long that's taken. Right. Okay, so we're on asphalt, so metal slates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, damn it. <laughs> Wait, oh, what are you gonna to, get to, build, to take away? Alright, good. And then we got a spawn point. Yep, because everyone needs a spawn point. So if I die, I'll come back there. Stone wall's been done. Reinforced concrete's been done. Stone wall, wood planks. I've missed some. Looks like they didn't actually bind. So column rail, one. Scaffold, two. Metal grid, three. Okay. One. Uh, asphalt, two. Metal slate. Oh, okay. So maybe they're construction materials and they can't be placed. Because it doesn't seem to want to bind... That's probably why I keep doing the same ones. All right, so what else have we got? Terraformation gives us sand. One, stone and dirt. Two, dirt. Resources, we've got loads of resources. What's that? Antimatter patch. Wow. 
Hydra gems. There's some cool stuff in here. I need that bromine salt. <laughs> okay. I like myself some bromine salt. Where so what I else have we got on the spaceship? It? I think it might be time to build some spaceship materials. Spaceship, spaceship. And make a hundred of everything, because this is basically build mode, I believe. Assignable to use in shipyards. Eh. Cockpit glass, sensor module, engine, red plates, and laser turrets. Well, I think you guys know what I'm going to try and build, so I'm going to be limited by, I think, the size of the shipyard. So so let's put a shipyard there, make ten of them and see what happens. I'm just having a little... Uh, we've got a shipyard here, obviously. So if, let's find out what happens if I go over here. Okay. Looks like you have to clear a massive area first. So it'll allow you to put it down. Yeah. It needs to be all blue. Okay, so basically I'm not going to waste any time with that. Let's find out how this one over here is doing. I've left it for ages, so... Let's have a look. E, 30% it says. But what's it doing? Is it giving me... I guess it's, it. I guess it gives you materials, but uh, so anyway, this is the full block demo so far, as far as I can tell, for the uh, for the land structures. So yeah, thanks for watching. And next episode, we're going to be making that spaceship. So make sure to catch that, and I'll see you next time.